We are at the forefront of talking to other unions, talking to employers, talking to our communities to ensure that they have and know how important this is to us. And as somebody said earlier on, 10 years, 10 years, that's all we've got. I mean, and, that, and that's a pretty a wide estimate. So I was speaking, my daughter's, uh, my youngest 15 year old daughter had her friends around yesterday. So I said to her, so I'm going to this climate change demo tomorrow. What do you think I ought to say? And they said, this one, one of them, uh, Alex said, tell them it's happening. Drop your mic and walk off. I went, no, that's like a, a little bit too short and too sweet. So yeah, definitely it is happening. And the sooner governments wake up to this fact, not just our government, but those governments all around the world that are trying to ignore it and trying to just make and capitalize on them, left, right and center, and the likes of us are continuing to be poverty stricken, poverty stricken by our planet being taken away from us. I mean, I'm an internationalist, but I'm also a Hindu. And the planet, uh, we respect wholeheartedly. And it's not, we are part of that planet. We have an intrinsic part in that planet. The inside and outside, all of it belongs to us. Us, the people that inhabit it. Now what we're doing as a college union, as a college union, a university union, we have an integral part to play in the future. And I'm glad, again, as I see so many young people here, which is I want, why I wanted the input from my, my daughter's friends yesterday, um, so I said to them, I was like, again, we, we as a college, you know, we talk about, we're talking about not thousands of jobs, millions of jobs that are going to be created once we get our act together and decide that the sustainability economy is what we have to strive for. And we as colleges will be ensuring that the, the young people that are under our uh, roofs we are creating and skilling them. This is what people tend to forget. Well, jobs are going to be lost. Jobs are... No, they're not. They're going to be created. And we as educationalists are going to be at the forefront of doing them, skilling them. Currently, we have so many disenfranchised young people taking GCSEs, maths, English, recess after recess, being absolutely brought to the ground because they're thinking, why are we doing this? Where are the jobs? There are no jobs. These Mickey Mouse apprenticeships that the Tories keep on going on about, what the hell? You know, I don't want to do this anymore. So what are they fit for? When we have something that they are going to be an integral part of, saving the world, saving the planet, having jobs that actually mean something, that is when they are going to sort of sit up and start being engaged. And it's so difficult for us as educationists. So this is why climate change has to be part of our curriculum. And as a pedagogical, critical pedagogy that is being taught by many, many of the lecturers, connecting what is going on, because this is all about social justice, everything we do. I mean, yesterday I was at my Equalities Conference and I was speaking with Maura Samuels, who's at the forefront of the Grenfell, uh, Justice for Grenfell campaign. And still, that cladding, that cheap, disgusting, murderous cladding that caused the destruction of those lives is still, it's, it's still there in so many different areas. This government that promised to do so much are still dragging their heels. There's 40, 40 families still living in hotels. You know, they should be living in sustainably, eco uh, economically sustainable environments where, you know, we, we can invest, as Labour have said, that they're invest in installation programs, in this program, that program, and we all know what it's doing. We're di they're destroying the planet and they're destroying the vast majority of people that live in it. So let's 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 do more of this. We've got to keep highlighting it. It's not going to it's not going to go away. And we have to keep on doing it. We we had a Brazilian speaker as well who again talked about the environment and talked about the death and destruction that Bolsonaro is bringing. I mean, he's like the yeah, obviously, you know, the big tea man over in the States. Again, deniers, deniers, deniers. And I understand that the, the fracking, the three, uh, three fracking individuals that were imprisoned um, and then obviously let free because it was a total, you know, miscarriage of justice, they're here. And do we know, you know, the judge that actually imprisoned them was the individual that had a claim to the fracking income that was coming out of that fracking? Do we know that? Yes, of course we do. What is being done about it? 
It's corrupt. This government is corrupt. And they are just incestuous in lining each other's pockets with these great capitalist corporate ideologies. We want social justice. This planet belongs to every single one of us. We are part of it. And I'll go back to what my, my daughter's friend said. It's happening, so get up and smell the roses. Thank you.